Yo, this is Michael from Broken Side, and you're watching Kerrang! Video Bod Podcast. <laughs> So Mike, broken sight. Oh, by myself. Yeah. All right. So how are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've just got off warp tour. Um, yeah. It's about nine weeks of uh, touring. How does the band cope with such a massive undertaking? Um, it wasn't bad. You know what I mean? Like uh, a lot of people said it was gonna be really hard. You know, it's a prestigious thing to do, and we're really appreciative of it. But you know, it wasn't too bad. We, we loved every moment of it, from the bad moments to the good moments. So it was yeah. all fun. What were the bad moments? Can you elaborate? Um, just, you know, the first day, people throwing stuff. No big deal, though. Yeah. It's kind of like a video game. Like Matrix, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, other than that, everything was smooth. Cool. Um, so, I mean, with uh, Warped, what's a typical day like? Because it can start at any yeah. time. Yeah. Um, you know, we wake up. The, dar- the, the day starts, like, around 9. You know, the merch people go out, set up, get everything ready. And I wake up around that same time, find out our set time. We either get up, get ready, and play, or wait all day to play. You know, it's just it's just a waiting game. Pretty yeah. Much. Do you have to kind of regulate how much you uh, party the night before in case you've got the first slot? <laughs> pretty much, you know. But nonetheless, you know, even if you play first, you still gotta wake up and kick ass. So. Right. Yeah. So, um, so what bands did you hang out with on the, uh, on the um, tour? Are you a fan of Gallows after Frank's outburst every day? Um, you know, like I had some words with Stuart, I think, from their band. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, they're doing their own thing, but you know, like he came up to me. It's a story, but um, it's just um, I, I don't care about Gallows and Buddy and all those stupid questions about other bands hating us. We don't care. Yeah. It's it's more it's more like you guys that care. You know what I mean? Like Broken Side doesn't care about people that hates us. Mm-hmm. So you know, whatever he said, he can say. It doesn't hurt our feelings. He could wish whatever upon, you know what I mean? We just don't care. We do this for our fans. Yeah. And that's why we do it. I mean, when you first start getting sort of negative comments, did that kind of thing make you strong as a band? At first, you know, it was hard for me. Like, everybody else didn't care. But I used to take it personal and be like, oh, man, like, these are bands that we loved and they're talking bad about us. But, you know, you grow as a person and you just see who's more mature, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's kind of like high school. Oh, they said this about you. Oh, it's just, it's stupid. Yeah. You know, but, you know, we love everybody, even, you know, Gallows, even though, you know, it maybe not all the band talked bad about us. Maybe it was that Frank guy or whatever you said, and we still love him, you know what I mean? We don't hate him or Gallows. We support it. It's music. It's an art, and we love art. So, yeah. it's the way Broken Side is. Do you think uh, Broken Side have the thickest skin in the music industry now? I think it's proving a lot, yeah. you know? I, I, I pretty much say we do. Cool. Um, tell, us, tell us about how you started and sort of what band sort of uh, influenced you to come up with um, It wasn't family. really a band, it's more like, uh, just, just like I say, you grow, you know what I mean? Like, in 2004, me and Sav started Broken Side. So we went through some relationship problems, not him and I, so weird, but uh, our girlfriends broke up with us at the same time, and then we, uh, <laughs> we uh, started Broken Side, and we did more of like a totally different genre of music, you know, like more emo and it was about relationships and life and coping with different things and you know then we did Bree Bree and that's where we found that that's who we really are because that's what we love to do is just have fun and be out there and be real we say what's on our mind and maybe that's what people don't like you know so that's where it started yeah. now we're here um your album I'm not a fan but the kids like it's kind yeah. of sums up the the older sort of uh, rock fans attitude towards the band it, um, it's just like a middle finger to anybody, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, we don't hate, but it's just like, you know, you hate on us, but look what's happening. Whether you talk about us or hate us, we're still, we're, we have the most love that anybody could ask for, you yeah. know, so. Excellent. Um, so, what's a typical Broken Side fan like? Uh, just crazy, and, you know, they love, they love Broken Side, you know, they're bright, You know, we're starting to get, you know, like the bros and just like the college guys and just just people that love to have fun and party, you know, like you might hate on it, but once you go to a show, I'm sure you'll enjoy it and you'll kind of understand it better. Yeah. So what can we expect tonight? You'll see. Yeah? Yeah. (laughs) How about in some words? (laughs) You'll see. And then you can put it in words. Cool.
I'll do, I'll do a, a yeah. piece to camera. So yeah. um, we've got fifty pounds, hypothetically speaking. Um, right. What would you spend it on to make a party start? All you need is alcohol, brother, and some music, and that's all. It, it goes from there. And what, uh, what would be in your mixtape? <laughs> Um, an actual cassette, not this MP3. A, a tape? I, I don't think I'd go that far. Maybe try like an eight track. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I don't know, dude. I love Inner Party System. I'm really into that right now. And I love Breathe Carolina. They just came out their new CD, which is amazing. And you know, just there's just so much good music out there. Who knows? I, I just listen to everything. Cool. I have some Britney Spears. Who knows? There you I go. Don't know. Would you ever take a baseball back to a car like Britney? No. Why not? Um. Wow, so I'd probably get locked up. Yeah, jail is not cool. When can, after tonight's show, when can we expect you next? Because you've gone to the US. Who knows? Ho hopefully, really, really soon. You know, maybe my manager just said February in my ear, but um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I I make the rules now. Right. I, I sign his paycheck. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hopefully soon, because we love everybody here in Europe, and everybody's been really good to us. So. Really cool. since. Um, here's a chance for uh, uh, Mike's final thoughts, like Jerry Springer, straight to camera. Um, for the for people who hate you, who haven't even heard you yet, yeah. which I dare say is quite a lot, what would you say to encourage them to just check you out? Keep hating. I don't care. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, it, you can listen, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. I'm not trying to force it to you, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm sure you might learn to like it because there's a lot of people that hate us but I walk by and they're singing our lyrics or they're writing comments and keeping track of where we go when I shit when I eat you know what I mean so just keep a logbook and you'll hear about records yeah, yeah. nice well thanks for your time Word. and uh, enjoy tonight thank you brother Correct.